Chris Morris. Now, it is a medical first. A woman in India has received a new drug to prevent excessive bleeding after childbirth. The condition causes over 70,000 deaths a year around the world. And until now, the first choice treatment needed refrigeration to store and to transport it. Not this one, though. Let's talk to the doctor who administered the first dose last week, Dr. Shiva Prasad Gouda, who joins me live now on the program. Uh, thank you so much for being here with me. Just how important is this milestone, do you think? Uh, Matthew, this is a historic moment in the Global Maternal Health Initiative. Uh, we have a new drug that can be administered to women delivering anywhere across the globe uh, without the need for refrigeration. It, this is a landmark event uh, for all of us. Give me an idea of the scale of the problem uh, with excessive bleeding uh, in childbirth or after childbirth uh, uh, globally. Yeah, around the world, uh, every year, more than 70,000 women die uh, due to uh, during childbirth, and about a third of them die because of postpartum hemorrhage or excessive bleeding after childbirth. So it's a huge problem, and more than 14 million women experience uh, excessive bleeding after childbirth. So if we can give a drug to them to prevent postpartum bleeding, I, I think we would have a game changer on our hand. We're seeing pictures as you speak to us of the first woman who received this dose that you administered. Tell me a little more about her. Yeah, I mean, uh, we were part of the trial that uh, tested this intervention, and uh, it, it's great to have the product in, in use now. Uh, the first woman received the drug. Uh, the, the safety profile is as good as oxytocin, the current gold standard, and it's now being made available at a cost equivalent to that of oxytocin. So I think we have a win-win situation for the mothers and, and for the healthcare providers. And tell me a little more about how much a game changer is, is the fact that you don't need refrigeration uh, for this particular drug. And you talked about uh, the cost there. Tell me also about uh, what you anticipate in terms of the availability worldwide and the timeline on that. Yes, the drug has, was approved by the Indian Drugs Controller last September and within eight months, the company has been able to ramp up the production and make it available to the market. And they have a commitment to make it available globally in most of the countries in the very near future. Uh, so they are uh, going in for regulatory approvals uh, in most of the countries. And so it, it should be available uh, fairly soon. And in terms of the cost, uh, as I said, it's uh, the company has made a commitment to make it available at a cost on par with oxytocin. And if you take out the, you know, the cost of cold chain maintenance during supply and storage, you know, I, I think it will come down to even lower than the current uh, cost of oxytocin administration. And how much of a problem is refrigeration at the moment in so many different places of the world? Does it mean that uh, essentially that the, the drug that is available at the moment that needs to be kept much cooler, is that only available in, in big cities? Yeah, actually, the, it, it is a huge problem, and uh, there have been a lot of studies done in many countries which show that, you know, the quality of oxytocin that is administered to women is substandard, as well as, you know, the potency is is, is not there when, when actually it is administered, because, you know, most people are not even aware that it should be in cold chain storage. So I, I think this is a, a, a huge step forward in, in that sense. Well, Doctor, uh, it's good to, to talk to someone involved in such groundbreaking treatment. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here live on the programme. Thank you so much.